everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, here we are with the uh, Hater Shaker <laughs> Freightliner FLC day cab logging version. And uh, Mike's a nice logging truck. I, you know, we've done a video with it before. It was, it was great. Oh, man, I didn't line the back of that cab up. Ooh. I think I remembered that from last time and didn't do anything about it. But it's just how busy I get, I guess. Um... And this trailer is a Manac logging trailer from uh, Fister, Fister, Pfizer, Pister. Uh, I'm not sure how you say it. A uh, pretty cool trailer. Big load on here, 60,000 pounds of uh, small logs. Oh, parking brake. So let's uh, see how we get along here. We're up in uh, Bellingham, Washington. I haven't been up here in a long time. Glad I'm not bringing the load up the mountain because uh, I don't have the most powerful motor I've got in here. Well, let's see how we make out the Z Mod C15 6NZ 6NZ. scenery out there. That's quite a quite a trailer. What's weird about it is uh, it doesn't and he, he says so in his instructions for the load order. Uh, and there, well, there's no load. Well, it's a single mod. It doesn't have any additional files. But if you're using the KSW light pack, the light pack has to go below the trailer, which is really weird. And it actually is that way. I find strange. stuff's in the way. I'm running off the road. <laughs> Not a good time to try to take a photo. We're heading for Aberdeen. Uh, that photo was terrible too. Not centered even close but this is such a great road I love it been up here so many times uh, and uh, before I start doing videos this would just be like my go-to road and I love coming up here with biggest loads I could find on the turnpike uh, low by triple That's actually what got me into doing, uh, getting into the chassis files, the trucks, and uh, adding weight so I could get enough traction to pull some big loads up here. And I actually managed to pull the uh, bog loader with grapple up, up this hill with a modified Viper. That was pretty cool. That's not a bad photo. There we go. Done with the photos. Um, yeah, it was a Viper tri-axle, and I added a bunch of weight to the axles, made it uh, an 8x8, eight eight, and was able to get the load up here, because without it, 
<laughs> I'll try to remember to say how far I got because it's way down the hill. Didn't even get to the dirt. It was still with where the grass is in the middle of the road, in the forest down below. Oh man, I just sneezed big time. Good thing this, I uh, hope the mute button worked. <laughs> so, Wednesday, T minus and counting for Texas. That's a fact. I can't wait to get in that game because I, mean, I haven't found a gameplay video I wanted to watch yet. I watched these early release videos and Oh, somebody tell me if there's a good one out there worth watching, because I found them all extremely boring. And a bunch of guys running around with reefers, not that I mind reefers, but it's not even, yeah, it's just, wow. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and doing the kind of trip I like to do with it. I'm taking triple low boy kind of room on the road here. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't get even this far. I didn't get as there's that big hairpin coming up. I didn't even get that far. With the uh, without uh, adding traction with that was a 119,000 pound load. That was really bad. But here's that final hairpin, or series of hairpins. Well, there's a ton of room for this trailer. Nice, it's got uh, steering on that front lift axle. So this trailer configuration I'm using has a liftable, steerable axle there in the front, and the rear axle is liftable. I believe it was. So it's fair number of configurations you can do with this uh, trailer axle wise and paint and various things got a lot of light nodes on it you could use I didn't do it because uh, I'm way out of time on this video what happened was uh, this morning so this is afternoon well into the afternoon now and I got it this is Tuesday you know Wednesday I gotta get this load up, this video up for. I'm trying to think of what day it is. What the heck? Yeah, this must be Wednesday. This is for Thursday, and uh, I there this far, this grass road here, right about here. I couldn't get up this hill with 119,000 pounds on a triple low boy with no mods on the truck. So one thing I've mentioned before in this truck that's kind of cool, it's got a pyrometer that works on the left of the uh, speedometer, or the tachometer, just inside the steering wheel rim there, that's a uh, pyrometer, so we'll see it go up and down as we climb hills and put a load on the truck. Anyway, getting back to the, uh, this morning, I was doing a video, did the whole thing, it was kind of cool, it was a, uh, a new trailer also from these guys, Mr. 
however you pronounce it. And uh, it was a uh, grain hopper, really nice trailer. And from the Mexico side of the border at uh, El Paso with the Reforma map, and came up through El Paso, Santa Teresa, and off to Nogales. Man, it was great. But for some reason, I don't know what happened. Something changed overnight, and my uh, the recording didn't happen. Got my voice, but it was a blank screen. And I hadn't changed anything. It's just weird how this sort of stuff goes. So anyway, what I ended up... My uh, droid cam that takes you over the shoulder, the solution was to just the or switch the order with the screen capture. And I'm able to record again, but it took a while to figure that out. And um, no idea why that all of a sudden didn't work, because it's, it's been working for... I haven't made a change to the system in months, and just all of a sudden it didn't work. So I'm just, you know, I'm baffled. So anyway, the top shot of it is, sure hope this video gets out by 5 a.m. Uh, mountain, which is what I usually have been scheduling them for. We're going left up here. I guess Aberdeen. Yeah, if you were going straight, that would be to. Um, oh, what's the place where you take the ferry? Oh, I forget now. I'll have to look at the map. I'll have a quick peek at the map. We went straight through. Oh, yeah, Port Angeles. That's the one. But we're not going that way. Got that crazy draw, that visor on here. There's no good options. I really don't like the look of the stock visor for this truck, but uh, this one is sure low. Uh oh. And there's quite a few different log loads for this. I think there's at least four. This is the small logs, but it's one of the heavier loads. I guess because it's denser, there's less air space between the logs. And there's medium-sized logs. <laughs> recon, was, I, uh, recon showed me this trailer. It's, and... Uh, Size logs look like they, they've been sitting out in the forest for six months. Like the uh, ends of the logs are all gray where they're cut. They just look well seasoned. And there's a pretty cool load of big logs that are full length of the trailer. It's kind of neat. But they got a nice random effect and. Uh, Tied down a cable, which is the way they really do it. So it's kind of neat. Yeah, parameters really climbing as we're uh, stepping on the gas pretty hard here. Yeah, I've been wanting to get up in this corner of the uh, map for quite a while, but uh, 
with uh, ProMods Canada out of the picture until it gets updated. And me being in 146 for the last month in the beta, I just haven't seen, you know, and everything going on in Montana and everything else. I haven't been up here. It's nice to be back. All this uh, green will get me ready for the eastern part of Texas, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's a 9R. What do we got there? A log skitter? What is that? Oh, is that that four wheel? Uh, that's that uh, Challenger on rubber. I haven't seen that cargo yet. Guess we're gonna go over that big bridge in the distance, or one of them. Not sure which one. Doesn't look like this first one. I think maybe this road just carries on and uh, I can't remember if it goes over or not, or if there's another turn. It looks like another turn, according to the map. Looks like a stay right situation coming up. that uh, map you could uh, look at where you're driving would be handy. that chain front bumper was animated. Got to get that um, FLX 359 skin finished and out. Um, 
hopefully it comes out tomorrow, Thursday. I just got uh, a bunch of things to do to it. Mostly adding, uh, uh, it's a weird thing, but uh, trailer skins, so, because uh, it's the Hell Creek uh, truck skin, but there's a bunch of cattle trailers and, uh, oh, I must not have a voice navigator enabled here, but anyway, um, yeah, there's a bunch of trailers that, like, that, uh, you know, if you have the trailer in your mod folder, it gets updated to Hell Creek automatically, or if there's options for the trailer, you pick the options and you'll get the paint, to be kind of cool. And save a lot of slots in your uh, mod order. See how's our frame rate? It's all really good. 150 out here. 140. As you can see, I have the uh, I have the mirror distance set at medium on this truck. See everything kind of disappears in the mirror pretty quick. John Ruder's Freightliner's interior sound effects with this one. I'll have to experiment with that. What I could do if I remember, if I have time, I'll uh, maybe do that and throw a comment in in the description of the video. Well, we're getting close. 10 miles. I'm gonna hop out here, see some of this Aberdeen. I guess I don't have uh, the place signs, place name mod in this uh, profile. I think we got to turn left up here. Darn, I should have got over there. Let's look at the map. Oh no, we don't. We go right. Oh, that's, oh there's a challenger on uh, tracks. the train mod going in this profile probably not I haven't been in this profile for a while uh oh I wish I could see where oh there's a train over there yeah no train mod because it's got mixed that's one thing with that train mod is they'll string together a great big long train but it's all the same car many times over Right. Oh, there we go.
boy. Can't have a turn right here. Wushka. That doesn't look right, does it? Well, I guess so, yeah. That bridge, eh? Those uh, must be big counterweights that are used to lift the uh, bridge when they're unlocked and or at least they'll come down slowly, I guess, or help lift the uh, lift gate of the bridge. Oh, it's going up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's the weight coming down. Look at that. The big weights are coming down and lifting the track or the bridge, road deck. Very cool. Let's see what's going through here. Oh, got a boat coming. Very nice. How about that? Don't hear the thing chugging away. When I was a kid, I, I grew up in the country uh, between Ottawa and Montreal, on the Ottawa River. And across from our little town was a uh, river came down out of Quebec and they, they floated the logs downstream from the log drive up in northern Quebec, all the way down to the river. And the ones that didn't go to the local pulp mill and uh, I guess it's Buckingham, they would come all the way down to the river and they'd collect them up in log booms and drag them off and you'd hear the tugboats in the middle of the night when it was real hot out and the uh, sound carried and the, um, it was quiet and all the windows were open because of course nobody had air conditioning and you'd hear those engines, those tugboats just thumping away all night, it was kind of cool. And you'd hear the logs coming down the log chute where they'd scoot them around the rapids. They'd be banging and thumping, making this sort of constant dull rumble. It's kind of neat. Right lane ends. Oh, am I taking a wrong turn here? Wait a minute. Better pull over and have a look here. Oh, man. Did I do it again? Yeah, I did. I gotta turn around. There's no place up here. So, let's have a look and see what kind of trouble we are in. I thought I was supposed to take a turn back there. Oh, we're in trouble. Uh, well, I think what we'll do is we'll do them a favor and we'll just fly ourselves back around. Yep, I hear ya. Give me a second. We'll just scoot over here. Get over on the shoulder. Yep, yep, out of your way. There you go. Sorry about that. Better stay inside here for a little bit. As much as I complain about Lori, I'm lost without her. So it looks like now this bridge has a whole different lift mechanism. I wonder how it works. Can't get far enough away to see. Or is it just higher? No, I don't know. should have been looking over there. I'll have to go back in the video and see if it shows up, but I don't think it did. Oh, what do we do here? Turn right.
Definitely need a voice navigator to get along in this world. <laughs> I mean me. Drive from in here, being that it's uh, pretty straightforward. I think we've got enough room on the right side, I'm pretty sure. Oh, not terrible at this using mirrors, but if it's. You get all that room up front, and you don't have to do the big. Uh, Park and curve, I'm fine. Most of the time. All right. fuel consumption on probably not on this profile I guess I should have checked it first reasonably good pay for not a huge trip yeah so it's um yeah it's kind of a neat trailer yeah with this guy's stuff I think you can do I have for the uh, grain hopper I did some custom stuff on it and put it in the FLX file so the FLX um, Hell Creek paint job, and so if you have the uh, FLX and you have his grain hopper, um, you'll get the, an option to put a Hell Creek uh, stuff and branded mud flaps and everything on that trailer. Imagine I could do it to this one too. But anyway, there you have it, folks. A little Freightliner vlogging trip. As always, appreciate the heck out of you guys, and uh, um, thank you for the subscriptions. If you enjoyed the video, give her a like, and uh, I'll try to remember to put a link to the Discord. And come on over to the Discord channel if you like. Uh, a bunch of like-minded folk over there. All right, take care. We'll catch you on the next one, and bye for now.